Hi guys, how everybody? My name is Amanda Goring. I am a luxury travel consultant, founder and CEO of InStyle Travel LLC. We use our expertise and experience to customize luxury travel for families, luxury retreats for healthcare entrepreneurs and small businesses, coaches and mastermind groups. I am also the creative director of Little Miss Travelers, which is our awesome, amazing YouTube channel. If you are not already following us, go ahead and follow us. It's Little Miss Travelers, one word, follow us for all your luxury travel inspiration and everything concerning travel. I am the founder of Luxury Travel for Brown Families on our Facebook community and you can also join us there. We train our travel advisors to aspire to own their businesses and do something amazing. I am a speaker on self-care and just living your life unapologetically. I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you, my own, for inviting us to this summit for the second time. I'm excited, I'm elated that I get to share what we do and how we all restarted and how everything that we have done has impact our lives and is impacting others' lives. And so thank you, my own, for this community. Thank you for creating this for women like us to be able to enter into spaces that we rather not have gone. So I'm excited to be here and I hope you are too. So before we get started, let me just tell you a little bit about our story. So I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. I always have lived looking at everybody living their dreams and those people that I saw that I wanted to be like did not look like me right and everybody that i had seen living their dreams to the fullest was either a celebrity or was was also doing something maybe an actor or doing something else so i decided what can i do to bring my dream into reality without being a celebrity without being somebody out there i am a regular person and so how do i do that i thought i was going to achieve my dream by either becoming a doctor or becoming a pharmacist. And I did become one. I met my husband in pharmacy school. I, we are both doctor of pharmacy, but we realized that our time was being a sacrifice for the money that we wanted. And so we, we ended up not even having to spend time together because that was what was I was going to do to achieve what that kind of dream that I was looking for. And that was not going to cut it. And so I had to figure something else out. And I started to think maybe owning my business because I did not come from a background of, you know, business entrepreneurs. And so I thought to myself, maybe owning my business was going to be the answer. So at the time I thought, okay, becoming a doctor was going to solve the problem. Maybe becoming somebody was going to solve the problem. A lawyer, like, you know, our parents would teach us was going to solve the problem. However, we found out that becoming a doctor and a lawyer only took our time, right? So we found ourselves sacrificing our time for money. And that was not cutting, especially after we had kids. And so something else had to change. And I decided that I was gonna start with my own business. But then when I get started, everybody, there are so many travel agents out there. And so how was I gonna stand out? How was I gonna do it without becoming like everybody else? How was I gonna stand out and build the dream that I've always wanted? How was I gonna live my dream? of luxury travel around the world as a little girl, as I've always taught in my head, without being a celebrity or without being what I had always envisioned in my head that I had to be, you know, a celebrity before I can do the luxury travel. I was wrong because I am living my dream today. I am living my dream with my family. I am living my dream with my husband and my children. And I am gonna tell you exactly, I'm gonna share with you the tips and exactly how we got started. What is self-branding? Self-branding, I had to look into who I am, my authenticity, my resources, what resources did I have that I was gonna to use to do this self-branding? And of course, in the end, for me to be able to explain what exactly is my passion, right? What exactly is my passion and how do I wanna achieve this self-branding? I had to really dig deeper to really think to myself, what do I possess that nobody else possess? What are my resources? What things do I have that I can put into play that nobody else has? 
For example, my distinct voice, right? You hear me on the phone, you know it, that's Amanda. My love for opulent experience and my love for travel. So how was I gonna connect all this together to be able to stand out apart from every other agent out there? How was I gonna do that? I had to really dig deep and go deeper as to what I wanted to be. So I began thinking, personal branding. Personal branding will enable you to meet some interesting people and unlock some disruptive opportunities out there. Personal branding has done it for me. So I thought to myself, how do I connect all of this together? My distinct voice, my, my love for luxury travel, my passion. How do I make all this connect so that it can start generating income for me? so that I can free up my time, so that I don't feel like I am trading my time for money. So why does personal branding matter so much on your journey as an entrepreneur? If you wanna stand out and stand apart from all these others out there, cause there is a lot of room at the top, but who are you? What is your authenticity? How do you stand in your business to stand apart from the others? So through personal branding, you can absolutely position yourself to be the expert. And through that, you can meet some amazing mentors. You can meet some amazing, amazing coaches. You can meet some amazing, amazing entrepreneurs out there that wanna to listen to you, that wanna pair up with you, that wanna collaborate with you. Business owners and influencers. By why? By just being yourself and being authentic and showing us up as the expert. So one may ask, so what is personal branding? And I know a lot of people are afraid and scared to reinvent the wheel sometimes. You know, there are times that reinventing the wheel can be amazing and that is by being you and being yourself. Some people are also afraid of the failure that it comes with when you think about the thought of just being yourself and reinventing the wheel. It can be daunting, it can be very scary. Like, how do I even get started? How do I even be myself? Who knows me? Nobody knows me. So how do I invent a new wheel without failing? And that is what really sometimes discourage people from being themselves and showing up as themselves and doing something new. But I'm here to give you the good news today. You can do it. It is possible. Nobody knew me. Nobody knew who I was. Nobody knew what I stood for. My distinct voice, voice as I said before, I look like a regular person, but it can work for you. If you work for me, it can work for you. So what is personal branding? A personal branding is simply being yourself, doing what you're passionate about, showing up with a purpose and intention, right? What an amazing thought to think that you don't have to appear out there to be anybody else, but to show up as yourself and still make income and make money and make impact. That sounds amazing, right? So have a purpose and intention and bring your best self. That is personal branding. So personal branding when done with intention and purpose can bring more benefits than harm. It can bring an amazing, rewarding results. Personal branding is you. You are the heart and soul of your business. You are the heart and soul of your vision. You are the heart and soul of what you put out there. That is personal branding. You are the epicenter of your brand, right? Your voice, your personal brand needs to be led by your voice, by who you are and by your story. A personal branding doesn't have to be supported by a whole company or a whole entourage. And a personal branding doesn't have to be superficial. It doesn't have to be fake. It has to be you. So how you get started is very, very simple. It's by tonight looking deep down yourself, look deeper and think what makes you happy? What brings passion to your soul? What sets you, what brings the fire in you? That's how you get started. My journey is that as we started out to be, at the time it was a travel agency, so travel agents, and we were doing what everybody else was doing, right? And so I thought about myself and I said, how do I want to stand apart? How do I want to do it better and way better than anything else? That will represent me and my brand and that will represent luxury, but not just any kind of luxury because you all know we got so many luxury stuff going on out there. But quality, that if I'm able to even book four, five, six trips in a year, that will put me to a point 
where we are free and where we are able to make still make impact in these people's lives that are traveling with us or that are sharing their retreats with us or that are going on their trips and their journey with us so tonight i challenge you to dig deeper into your passion dig deeper like we did i had to have sleepless nights and i was trying to figure it out how can i stay it out dig deeper it's inside of you i'll be lying if i told you today and when I began, I had a step-by-step -step approach on how to build a luxury travel concierge, a family luxury travel brand. I did not have a step-by-step -step approach. This is because when we talk of personal branding, everybody is different. I am different from the, from the other travel advisor over there. You are different from, from the other company out there or from the, from the other wedding planner out there. Everybody is different. So that is why personal branding is so unique to you and to what you are planning on doing. However, my building block, which I will not even call it a building block, but the design approach that I used was embrace. Embrace your adversities, embrace your challenges, who you are, your vulnerabilities, right? Embrace what you've been through, your journey. So for me, my journey as a speaker has always been challenged by the fact that I grew up as a stutterer. You know, I did not want to speak in public. I didn't want anybody to hear me speak. I didn't even want to use my voice because every single time that I spoke, I started. So for me to be in front of you here today, speaking to you all, it's amazing and it's a blessing that I never let my fear of speaking keep me where I, I was and to use my voice and to use my approach of being myself to grow from where I am today to the next level, right? And so if I had let my stuttering problem kept me there and kept me down, I would not be even in front of you speaking at this summit today. So go ahead and use your vulnerabilities, use your challenges, use your downfalls, use your journey. Your liability can absolutely turn into an opportunity and your story can absolutely turn into gold and it will bring you in front of amazing amazing people interesting people that you would rather not meet if you hadn't shared your story or if you hadn't been yourself my second approach was create create value for your audience create value for your niche create value for who you serve find a reason to speak you must consume value and curate amazing content for the people that you are showing yourself for. And through your speaking, your content and your story, people will get to know who you are. People will begin sharing and people will begin valuing the, the stuff that you are putting out there. No matter what you're doing, speak or create content with intention to impact and that will make you stand out. People will get to know your brand and what you stand for. They will get to know you and you as a person and nobody else. If you create value for others, they will see the value in you. So for example, look at Tabitha Brown. I'm sure most of you know who she is. She being herself all the time. She shows up as herself in her kitchen, you know, when she first started in her kitchen. She created a brand for herself. Me and myself being included, right? Creating brands for myself and showing up as me, not anybody else and what I stand for. And that works. Being yourself works. Personal branding works. You know, we, we set apart to create our travel logs and travel brands by not going up and not seeing people that did the same thing that I want to create. I never saw people that look like me do it. But we still decided that we you know what we're gonna take a chance and we're gonna be ourselves and we're gonna travel the world and in style, right? In style and show others how to do the same. It's still working. And we are gonna be creating an amazing impact in the world we live in by just being ourselves. Have a reason to drive dialogue. Position yourself as the expert and the top line of your industry. Whatever industry that you are in and whatever you are self personal branding, make sure that you stand out as the expert. You stand out, you position yourself to be the expert you are. Do not try to be what you are not because after a while you will give up. 
you grow tired of not being yourself and you end up quitting. If you are afraid to show up as yourself, then there's something called mindset. Maybe it's how you grow up, you grew up, and maybe it's how your upbringing was, maybe it's a journey you've been through, maybe it's something that has impacted your life that's so hard that you cannot be yourself. Then we will have to work through a mindset change, which is another whole topic for a different time. So mindset, you will have to make sure that you are working on your mindset if you are afraid to show up as yourself and show up as who you are. And the next approach that I also took was to learn to build relationship, not just form them. Grow and nurture amazing relationships, right? Because sometimes it's not how many people are following you, it's who is following you, right? Who needs your product? So learn to nurture and grow your relationships, the good ones, not just form them. So one thing that I always say is that my brain, my luxury brain, it's not just about the people that are following me. It's not, it's not for everybody that is following me, right? It's about who believes in that product. It's about who believes in your product. So everybody that follows me, it's not gonna be my client and that's okay. So don't be so transactional when it comes to outreach, like always reaching out for free stuff and reaching out for favor. That is not what personal branding is about. It's about you also impacting others. What are you doing for your community? What are you doing for others? So as you grow your brand and as you do your personal branding, what are you also giving to the community? There are so many things you can do offline, like attending conferences, and not just conferences for your brand, but conferences for anything else. So you can meet others because you never know who is gonna need your product. You can attend conferences that are not in your industry, right? Better yet, you can also host conferences and share your, your product. How I look at it is the 50, 30, 20 rule. So 50% of the people that you interact with should be people that you aspire to be, the leaders that you aspire to be like, the people that you've always looked up to, your mentors. Those, that's the 50% of the people that you should interact with. And the 30%, of course, is your peers and your colleagues that are on the same level as you. And the remaining 20% is spend time with the people who aspire to be like you, like coaching. Spend time with the people that want to be like you or want to do things that you are doing but are not there yet so that you can bring impact on those lives. That helps with your brand and that helps you excel to the next level. So pretty much that group of people is simply you paying it forward from what you learned from your mentors and you paying it forward in your industry and the people that would like to be like you. So to recap, a personal branding is the idea of bringing the best of you, your flaws, your quality, your authenticity, your journey, Personal branding encompasses all of these things. It also includes your challenges, your triumph, your story, and most importantly, your success. Like I'm able to sit here today and speak with you all about my success and my journey and how we began and the tips and the approach that I knew. It all makes you who you are and your personal brand. I am on this stage today sharing my identity and how rewarding being yourself can be like and also embracing who I am, what I stand for, and our future legacy. And of course, having fun with our brand and traveling the world, traveling the world to places we've never been, mingling and collaborating with cultures we've never ever ever seen before. It's amazing, it's fun. By being ourselves, we are able to do these things. As a family woman, a wife, a mom, entrepreneur, speaker self-care has always been everything and so for me to be able to not have to go ask anybody permission to go and do these things to be a mom to be a wife to be all these things it feels amazing and it's just simply by being myself and taking my entrepreneurship on a journey that represents what we love and our passion and of course being able to do the same thing for others which is why our business came about, so that our love to travel is not just gonna be in our family, but also to inspire other people to be able to do the same. So today, I can safely say that our business is on the charts and on the road to being the best it's ever been. Are you gonna be doing the same thing after today? Are you gonna start being yourself? Are you gonna start sharing your story? Are you gonna start being authentic? 
to the outside world. So today, I challenge each and every one of you to stand in your truth. Go for it. Be true to yourself. Be true to who you are. Reach out for your dreams and your goals. Be yourself to stand out and stand apart from everybody else. Because there's only going to be one you. It's just you. Thank you so much, my own, for inviting us once again to this summit. I appreciate everything that you know you share and everything that you host and everything that you are impacting. We appreciate you so much. I look forward to seeing most of you on our YouTube channel for your travel inspiration, luxury travel inspiration on Little Miss Travelers. And I look, I look forward to seeing most of you in our luxury travel for brown family community. Thank you so much. And I love, love, love being here. And of course, most of you that want to do retreats, luxury retreats for your small businesses and healthcare entrepreneurs, we are here for you.